Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Mama Beach and I wanted to do a quick update for you guys today because I had a couple of really exciting bags come in this week. So one of them you're going to think I'm a little bit crazy and the other one is something totally new and different, um, at least from what I've shown on my channel. So let's start with the totally new and different one. So this one comes with a backstory. So here's the bag I got. This is a coach bag. It's a legacy style, so it's an older style. And this is called the Legacy Duffel. And this color is called Tourmaline. And it is a brilliant, super bright turquoise color, which is why I love it. This is my favorite color that Coach ever, ever made. And the only way I know about this color is because I've actually had a bag in this color before. And here's the backstory about the bag, because I think you guys would find it interesting. So before I had a purse obsession, I know there was a before purse obsession time in my life. I've always been interested in handbags, but there was a time when I didn't collect so many of them. And I only had, I think, one handbag. It was my, it was a coach bag that my mother-in-law bought for me. It was a Phoebe um, in pebbled leather, pink ruby. And I was looking at a local Facebook yard sale site and this woman was selling tons of gorgeous handbags and one of them was a coach bag in this color and everything in my house is turquoise. I have like stools, rugs, accessories in this exact color. I'm obsessed with it and so when I was scrolling through this Facebook yard sale site I was like oh my gosh that purse is my color. I need that purse. So it was another style and the style was called the Molly Satchel. And it was a satchel, clearly. It had short handles, and then it did have a long strap that was almost the exact same as this with the big, um, what do you call these, grommets, and kind of this adjustable piece on each end. So I wrote the lady, and I was like, do you still have that bag? I tried to talk her down on the price. She wouldn't budge. <laughs> so I met up with her, and it was just so gorgeous, the color in person, and so I bought it. And I ended up talking to her for a while and, you know, we got, we got, really got along. And I was like, if you don't mind me asking, because at the time I had no idea about like purse collecting or anything. I was like, how do you have so many beautiful handbags? I only have one. And she was like, you know what? Basically her story was that she'd been in a marriage with a man that was very wealthy and she was not happy in the marriage. And so the only way he knew how to make her happy when he did something wrong was to buy her purses or shoes and she said finally she broke free from that marriage and so she still has all of these handbags and, and designer shoes and she was getting rid of them because to her every time she looked at a handbag or a pair of shoes that he gave her she just thought of the thing he did wrong that he did that he um, bought that item to make up for. So I thought it was a really interesting story that she was kind of purging her life of all these memories that she had tied up in these handbags and shoes. And I also found out at that time that she used to work for Louis Vuitton. So she had tons of like super, super rare limited edition Louis Vuitton items. And I was like, whoa, you are a cool chick. So we ended up becoming Facebook friends and I still kind of follow her on Facebook on her journey through like her new life with her. She has two kids and she was a really interesting person. So I got this bag from her. I carried it for probably six months and I really loved it, but the style just didn't work for me. Like the strap, like it didn't fit on your shoulder right because the top of the bag was too wide. So it was always slouching in the middle and falling down. And so eventually when I started my Dooney obsession and wanted to buy my first Florentine satchel, I sold that bag. And ever since then, I have thought about it. And I have thought about that color and thought about, should I have sold it? Because that color was just so brilliant and so me, but I really didn't like the style. And then another Molly satchel came up on eBay probably six months ago. I almost bought it, but it was so expensive. And I was like, no way someone will pay $200 for that bag. And they did, and it disappeared. I was just gonna watch it until the price went down to the point where I thought I could afford it. So I was like, oh, I can't believe I didn't buy it. So then I'm going through my Instagram um, last week and I see this bag and I'm like, oh my gosh, that color, that color. And I've never seen it in this legacy duffel style. So then of course I 
a spin-off into all of my resale sites doing tons of research about this style if there's other ones out there how much they're going for and I found one that I thought was the least expensive and I started talking to the girl so I ended up getting this for a little more than I wanted to pay but it was pretty reasonable um, for especially for a legacy style and this style was not ever put in the outlets so this is was a retail style back when it um, was distributed but it's basically um, a bucket bag it looks the silhouette looks very similar to my Jake hobo that I love from Brighton especially with the big tassels and I did move these they were on the side here they kept getting hidden behind the bag and I was like dude the tassels the best part you gotta stick it on the front so I put it on the zipper pull when I conditioned it yesterday and it came and it was it's in great condition no weird smells or stains or anything it did have some wear to the corners and that's the problem with this this leather this older leather from coach I will say is not the greatest quality it's really not beautiful leather it doesn't seem like high quality leather leather it seems pretty cheap especially for a retail bag but there's no other way to get this color unless you buy the legacy style in the legacy leather so just got to deal with it um, the bag I had before also had the same problem with getting tons of corner wear and wear around the zipper and this one had the same problem with lots of wear around the zipper but I put some conditioner on it and especially around the zipper it really made a big difference so I was like hmm, at least it responds to conditioner which is good which I wasn't sure about but it's really just a hobo style bag and it's a bucket bag so I have it stuffed up pretty full. I normally don't carry so many items. But the cool thing about it is you take this strap off and it can be a crossbody. So you just kind of undo it here and pull it through to the other side like so. And there's another like belt type thing here that you put it on and pull the tab through. Pull the tab through. Here we go. And then you have a crossbody bag. Now for me, this is really too short for crossbody, but I would do it in a pinch, like if I really just didn't want to carry it on my shoulder anymore. I think if I had less stuff in it and it didn't stick out so far, it might be workable. But yeah. So that's the Legacy Duffel in the color Tourmaline. My favorite color of all time. I love this color. I'm so excited to wear it. Okay. Next bag, the one that's gonna, you're going to think I'm crazy. So, I have been doing a lot of soul searching. And I've been having, like, this urge to do, like, spring cleaning, even though it's fall. Like, in my basement, in my garage, like, and that also applies to my closet. So, I've really been, like, overwhelmed by the number of bags that I have. Not just from a storage perspective, but just from the perspective of, like, I don't even know what to carry. Like, I get up in the morning and I'm like, I just look at this wall of bags and I'm like, gosh, I'm so blessed and I love all these bags, but I'm like totally overwhelmed by having to select one. <laughs> I know this is like such first world problems. Like, I get it. So I'm thinking of like kind of cleaning out my closet and making some really hard decisions about the bags that I don't carry or use or feel totally inspired by. Like, I really just want to keep the stuff that... I feel like touches my heart and like really inspires me and get rid of the stuff that I'm like I really like it but it doesn't you know make really speak to me so in preparation for doing this purge and clean out um, one of my friends was selling a bag Dooney bag and it looked so gorgeous like just perfection so I had to get it and she told, sold it to me for a great price and it turned out to be perfection. It is Dooney and Burke. This is a mini Samba satchel. This is the color Bordeaux. Look at the leather on this thing, you guys. It is just perfect, perfect, perfect leather. I've never seen Samba leather with this type of like, and even a pebbling. I mean, it's just gorgeous. And the color, let's talk about the color. I mean, it's insane off the charts. This is so pretty. And it, I was so glad I got it from her because I I saw the pictures. I'm like, that leather looks perfect. And then I got it and I was like, the leather is perfect. Like, I'm just so glad I got it. And it's like relatively smushy, which you guys know that I love. So it like, it hangs so nicely. 
under the arm and I haven't undone the rivet on this one so it's a little short but I just love this style it's so easy I know a lot of people like balk at the minis they're like oh my god they're so small and the opening is really small but honestly I just find them so easy to carry they look great with every outfit and I, I just throw my stuff in and go like I just don't even think about it I love the style and it's just so not fussy I think that's why I like it so the reason why you're gonna think I'm a little bit crazy is because I already have this color and I have it in the small size Samba and this was one of this was the second Samba I ever bought and I bought it during the 12 days of Dooney so I got a I got it for a decent sale price but it wasn't a bargain bag I think I paid close to 250 for it this is you know from I got it back in December so I mean pretty right but I haven't been carrying it. I haven't been carrying the small because I'm finding the small satchels in my collection to be very heavy and bulky. And I've gotten so, so spoiled over the summer carrying these mini bags and carrying bigger bags by other brands that are lighter and more streamlined. So now when I try to return to a small size satchel, either Samba or Florentine, and I carry it around for a day, I'm like, oh, these things are heavy and bulky and I'm just not enjoying them as much as I used to. So what I bought this mini for was in preparation that I wanted to keep this color in my Samba collection but maybe get rid of the small size. But now that it's here and I'm talking to some of my like greatest purse friends and advisors, they're like, Nicole, don't do that. Don't get rid of your small Bordeaux because you will never see it again. And they are 100% correct. I have never seen a small Bordeaux except for one other one that looked like it was mislabeled. It was not this color. It was red, basically. For sale on the resale market. So once I part with this bag, I have to be prepared that I to say to myself, I will never get it back. And I just don't know if I can do that right now. I just feel like I need to hold on to it just because I don't want to never see it again. I don't know. Gosh, I sound crazy. I really sound crazy. But that's the thought process I'm going through. So what I did yesterday was went through my closet and I picked out probably eight handbags and I just put them up in other closets in my house. This is the Bordeaux is one of them. And I have them stuffed in this closet in my guest room and in my, my son's room. And I'm going to keep them there for a period of time to see if I miss them or not. And just kind of like remove them from my collection and forget that I have them. And see if I miss them. Because that's the only way I can think to really decide if I'm making the right decision. So that's what's going on with me. Um, I have two bags coming this week, hopefully, and they are, neither one of them are Dooney. One of them is the brand I never, actually they're both brands I've never had before. So I'm really excited to share them on my channel. And one of them is from a fellow YouTuber that you guys all know. So I look forward to sharing those with you guys. And please leave any comments in the box that may help me decide what to do about my collection and what I have going on in my mixed up brain right now <laughs> and let me know what you think should I get rid of the small Bordeaux or should I keep it I don't know all right guys thanks for watching I always appreciate you watching and subscribing and I will see you next time